Welcome back, everyone, to part two. Welcome back. Thank you for bearing with us as we had to take a break here. So we, we've we now troubleshooted all the things we didn't know how to do. Um, well, right now we're, we we just got done templating everything to make sure that we knew how to do it. Um, so the only thing you've missed is that Meg uh, installed the CPU and we put the hard drives in there only to find that our solid state drive has no type of enclosure. So we haven't addressed that yet. Oh yeah, we for I forgot that we needed to figure that out. So that'll be something... Remember, you, 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 po there? you push on the RAM itself. And if it, if it doesn't go in, that's because it's not lined up. So it's backwards, actually. Ah, I see. I see the notches. Okay, can you look at this? Sure. I don't think I'm... Right, I'm so, so you always want to remember, when you push it in, there's a thin end, there's a short end, and a long end. Right. And Meg taught me this, that you use the blue ones first, well, you have to look at the documentation for the motherboard. So you just push the RAM in till both of the clips snap. And I didn't know this. I was just putting RAM in whatever. But supposedly there's a thing. And we haven't um, screwed down the motherboard yet, so that's why we're having to manhandle it so much. Because one of the problems we found was that the case doesn't have a post for the corner where the RAM goes, and that um, seems okay. to be a trouble area. Yeah. All right, so we have our two sticks of RAM in, and now we're going to actually lift the motherboard back out so that we can put um, our face plate here in, as well as get the back of the uh, coolant in, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's this. Which part should we do first? So this part, part is, let's see, can I, can we do this in such a way? So this is almost a two-person gig. So why don't we... What are you looking for? We need to set this down. So. So let's see, can you see this? This thing is the adapter plate. And it snaps on the back and fits right behind the CPU. Okay. And now you can see, I don't know if you can see the little s screws poking through, but here's the back mm -hmm. angle. Okay, so I have this. And Noki ran off, and sadly, I don't know not entirely sure what the next step is. This is a safety tip. When you're new at installing these CPUs, um, you always, you never should, but always do, touch the face of the processor. So this is isopropyl alcohol. You want to use an alcohol-based, um, not a water-based cleaning solution like Windex or toothpaste. Don't do any of that. And you just want to brush and this is to get off the oils on your hand from the chip and the good thing about the alcohol is it just evaporates in a few few seconds you can watch it evaporate as I'm putting on um, and it doesn't damage circuitry or <laughs> science <laughs> see it evaporating next time we're gonna watch water boil <sighs> okay sorry. interesting thing though some people do put their PCs in mineral oil. They actually submerge it in a fish tank of mineral oil because mineral oil is non-conductive, and that's what they use instead of the whole fan thing. Um, it's kind of ludicrous, but... Cool looking. Yeah. So this is the boring part. So what are we going to do next? Faceplate? Faceplate. You want to... While I hold this... Sure. Do you mind popping that in there? Oh, well, I'll put your faceplate in. Oh, gosh. I hate these things. These things never go in right for me. Are you putting it in backwards? Yes. Yes, I am. Is it upside down? Yes. You're upside down. 
It'll work better if you stand on one foot and sing a song. Like the beaver call? Is it that song you want me to sing? Any song that you love and enjoy. It's okay. almost a few more seconds. So, so what we're gonna do next? We're gonna we've decided that this, this thing, folks, is the scariest piece of hardware I've ever installed in my <laughs> life. The reason is, um, though the stand is spring loaded, so when you go to put it on your CPU you really have to be careful how you tighten it because if you tighten one side it's going to tilt your processor and potentially break it so you have to put pressure all the time on this okay um, that's terrifying it is terrifying and i'm sure there's a better way to do it um, corsair cool assistant actually have an adhesive on their back plate that um, works a lot better so well, it's a lot more user friendly. It doesn't mean it necessarily works better. Sure. Okay. So I'm gonna yeah. don't do this. This is just What are you doing? Just getting the last little bit of alcohol. And this is a step and people will probably in the tutorials they said not to do this, but when I talked when I read some forums about these things um, everyone recommended Arctic Silver with the uh, cooler. So I'm going to put a few dabs. And I am a major rule follower, so this is a little um, anxiety inducing that we're not following the rules here. Multiple things. I don't have a scraper, which didn't come in the kit, um, and I'm I am too leery to use a finger or anything like that. But ideally, you have a credit card-like object, and I'm not going to use a credit card to make a clear coat. But I'm hoping the sheer pressure of the cooler will make a smooth enough coat. So we'll see. Um, we'll hope that works. Can we not just rub the bottom of the cooler around on it? No, you definitely <laughs> never ever want to do what you just said. Y you won't be able to see this in the out. video, but you can see how much force this thing goes down on. You can already see it imprinted onto the copper. So here we go. Okay. That's the, the way when we practiced the, the template there that seems to fit. So already we've noticed something I can't do this one-handed so that ha we have to put that down somehow well, here can I hold this it has to sit down there's no way you can hold it so it has to sit somewhere okay um, can I rest it like right on here it's just we just need to find a way to support the back plate so it doesn't fall out. So grab That's it. why I have it okay. on the side of the case here. Okay, so with the other hand lift up this radiator. This. Yeah. So sorry folks, this is a delicate maneuver. You might not be able to see, but... Um, we're, oh gosh. Yeah, this is terrible. Okay, I see what you mean. You have to be really careful. I wish my thumb was like and the five trick, inches longer. You have to do this in a cross pattern, not as in a like one after the other, because this puts the least amount of stress on the CPU, and that is the name of the game. And what you want to do, you want to do two or three rotations, two or three threads per and then just work your way around. Okay, so we have two or three threads. Okay. Now we can kind of refocus. Um, why, why wouldn't we go ahead and screw it all the way you're down? Right, you're right. So you just do, you know, at this point, this gets easy. It's not hard. 
but you just want to go top left whatever you, you you understand don't screw it in all at once and this is again this is ignorance on my part there comes a point where you shouldn't screw it anymore but know that the more the tighter you screw it the more contact comes between the radiator and the chip so the better heat dissipation We'll just go till we kind of feel dangerous, or Meg's arm breaks. Is there a point where you start to hit some pretty strong resistance? It doesn't feel like it yet. Clue you in? Um, so I'm starting to feel a little bit more resistance. So, and one thing you can pay attention to is the springs themselves. When they stop rotating, um, I think I'll stop there when the springs have stopped there. Oh, and that, that one just bottomed out. So that's our, our limit. Okay, so this is our last set of rotations, it sounds like. Yep. That's the one that bottomed out already? Yep, I'm just doing a last minute. Final, final check. Final check. That's good. Okay. Okay, so now our CPU is installed nice and tight, and we will... Before we put this down, do we need to unscrew this fan here? Mm. In order to install this... Well, let's see. We don't need to install it before. We don't need to unscrew it before we put this in. Okay, I was just thinking it's easier to It might get it be easier, out. but we need the placement of these bolts. Okay. So we are going to very carefully put the motherboard back over here. And now at this point are we going to go ahead and be screwing down the motherboard? That's it. Next step is to get the motherboard solid in there. Okay. Oh man, it, it's hard to line it up with these yeah. face plate. <coughs> Ignore the face plate and pay attention to your spokes. And this part's a little tedious because the cases kind of move. And okay. one trick is to lift up the right side of the motherboard, uh -huh. and then that'll wedge it into the faceplate and kind of give you a little more. I can hear it kind of doing that, but I think I. I I personally feel that faceplates are an abomination. But they look so pretty. Okay. Um. Now your faceplate is not on at all. Okay. Maybe you can help me with this part here. Hold that for me. So let's okay. see what we can do. I think it needs a little... A little TLC? Uh, yes. That's much nicer than manhandling. not sure how much like, pressure I can put on things. Yeah. That's it. No, it's a good fear to have. I really would rather not like completely break my <laughs> very first computer. So I'm just right now on the faceplate there's these little metal things. I'm just bending them out of the way to see what we can how much room we could make. And so I'm going to call that okay. It's not great. Well, I want it great. 
Well, when you become a computer scientist, you design better crap. Just the faceplate is what you Okay, let's like. screw it down. All right. Okay, and that's okay to hang there? Yep. Okay, now is there any trick to the order in which I screw it down? Shouldn't be, no. All right. Well, I happen to notice the numbering when I went through, so I'll just follow that kind of pattern and work from the bottom left on or up and around. So let's see, this kit, the cooler kit came with all kinds of crazy for all the different chipsets. Pretty interesting. I still don't know what any of this stuff is. Look like studs or spokes or something. And this, we just have this giant growing pile of spare parts. It's good. You can't have too many spare parts, right? Yes. We have um, sensory boxes for our daughter. So it'll be good for her. I love sensory boxes. She does too. She enjoys them as well. <laughs> <laughs> but those were, I found out about those, oh gosh, not too long after we had her and they were a new idea to me. And I'm pretty fascinated by them. I follow all these vlogs on Pinterest and I just subscribe to them so that I can find out all these fun sensory ideas. Okay, sorry. You don't want to get me started on that? Yes, we do. No. That was not a coaching. That was not a coaching back rub, or a sex back rub. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I am so excited. I don't know if we'll get to fire this up tonight, but I'll be excited. Because one thing we have to do is we have Windows, whatever, Windows thousand, on the hard drives, but we want to put it on the solid state. So we still have to figure out how we're going to do that. <laughs> I can't believe we don't have like a case or something for the solid state. I'll go outside and like whittle one or something. Oh gosh. Well, you are very crafty. I am a crafty guy. Crafty isn't the right word because that implies like glue sticks and glitter. And not that I'm sure you... I'm sure you can handle a glue stick and glitter, but you're crafty in like the building sense. So I don't know if you noticed the bookcases we have behind us. They are built by Noki Bear. This wonderful desk that we're working on and both of our computers are on, also a Noki Bear. And before the show is over, I will turn the camera off of our makeshift stand that we've Creative. Oh gosh! <laughs> so if you can, I'll save it. I will save it to show you, because then you will fully appreciate the ghettoness of our and, recording studio. And you will understand why there is n absolutely no chance that we were sponsored by uh, Tom's Hardware. Yeah, <laughs> this is more like Tim Allen's sponsorship. Except we're not sponsored by him either. I know. <laughs> we have no sponsors. But we would be glad to get sponsors, just if we anyone... We would. If you know. are interested in becoming our sponsor, please <laughs> feel free to leave a comment, contact us. We'll, we'll, we'll be sponsored by Playtex or Viagra or anti-dysentery tablets. We don't mind. We're all about the <laughs> team. And building a better life and all of those things and can indeed help with that. Being regular is important to us. If you have children, no more in your whole life will that become more important than when you have children. Oh gosh. That is so true. I was thinking the other day that if I sat down and talked with my pre-motherhood self, I think I would be appalled at how casually and frequently we talk about poop. <laughs> the color, the <laughs> texture, the frequency. And every once in a while, Gloria's even. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Motherboard in? It is. Okay. Now, we, we test fit the video card in. Oh, yeah. I put it back over Let's here. get this radiator mounted. All right. Let's do it. So it mounted with these crazy pieces of garbage. And they actually, so you want to put this in like that, or however. I would probably recommend the other way. I think the picture, oh, but it doesn't seem to want to do that. So we'll go this way. So it wants, the only holes we have, oh my gosh, we don't even have holes. Okay, so we got to remove that. We don't have holes? Well, these mount through both. So you need to remove these screws, which hold the fan here, uh -huh. and then put this, and then it screws into there. But the fan stays there? This mounts on top of the fan? Is that what you Yes, saying? but we have to remove... We could start if we just do... I think I understand. I was just I don't have. You don't even have to remove that. So I'll just remove one screw. There you go. And then we can mount them as we go. That is a brilliant plan. I love... Hold on. I can't really see what I'm doing. Is that... That's not in there. Ah. Thank you. This doesn't mount so good, but... Is that... That's not mounted in the least. Now let's check. Let's check to make sure there aren't different lengths of them. Those the same? Those are. Hmm. Are they all the same? It's over there. Okay, they all look the same. So, let's flip the thing over. Let's flip the. Now, what's on the other side? More holes. Okay, so they look exactly the same. Okay, so hold it up there, baby. All right. Good thing we have spares. So let's see how this works. Alright. I don't know if I need to do any... Wiggle it around a little bit. Oops. I lost the top it's okay. one too. It's okay. Just focus on the bottom one I guess then. I'm sorry, where these holes are. It should be somewhere like that. I have no idea if that one's in. Yeah, th now, so here's another problem. These, I don't know if it's our misunderstanding or... Here's one. These bolts are millimeters too short. Short. Since there's holes on both sides, do you think that somehow we But how would you do it with the cables there? What are you thinking? Well, what if we flipped it over. I think this is it. I think we just had bad luck with that. So, first casualty, we stripped out one of the bolts on the radiator. But there's no correcting it now, so it should be good. Okay. And actually, it feels pretty secure. Okay. If you wiggle it around, it's not really moving. Okay. So, so let's get a little... Good news! Yay! So why don't you tip the case up on, we'll show everyone okay. what it looks like so far. Alright, let me just move the solid state drive back a little bit. All right. So there we have motherboard in, cooler, two hard drives, and next we're going to mount the uh, video card, mm -hmm. the RAM. Nope, RAM's already in. RAM's in. So the 
Just, just video card in solid state, state and then it's time to hook up power. Crazy. Okay. All right. So here is our video card. This thing is just so big. It is. I wonder what these are. If anyone knows. I assume it's for some kind of expansion, R running two cards at once or something, but... <laughs> so this was tricky. So the only place it fits is in that one. Okay. So that's where it goes. Okay. And it goes like Just this. like that. Uh-huh. And the, your points of reference are here, these two empty holes. Okay. So... And then also, you have to bend over a little bit to go over here. If I'm tall enough, okay. And you see there's a tab where that card slips in. Yeah, because I pulled it out after we did the, the placement. This card must weigh like five pounds or something. so afraid. It's okay, darling. It sounds good. Stop that wobbling, though, you crazy okay. person. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. There you go. Okay. So. And now let's tighten it in. So it's just these little itty bitty screws here. These black ones? Yep. All the baby ones. Okay. And, yep. Oh, gosh. Again? Yeah, our so daughter is not happy tonight. I think because she got her shot. Yeah, we did a flu shot while we were at the docks. I wasn't going to because I didn't think that you were supposed to get one when you were sick, but her doctor said that really she just has, like I said earlier, that ear infection and then the, uh, the cough that'll last for another week or so. Why isn't this screw on? I might have given you the wrong screw. Okay. That's Is an it option. the silver one? Uh, shouldn't be. What are the other screws? Oh. What other screws? Well, there's a, there's all these. There's all those other things here. Yeah. They're black. Are they flat? Are they, uh, are they like this? Let me see. Yeah. Okay. We also have to mount the other fan. seem to get this lined up. Let me look in there real quick. Okay. It might be too. Sometimes you have to compress the back of the case okay. to get them in. Oh. I see what you mean. Because sometimes the sheet metal just bends. Okay. It really stinks. A cheap case, and this case was under about 50 bucks, so I'd consider this one cheap. The sheet metal tends to bend, and what it can do is it can force your mother, your uh, video card to sit on your motherboard, kind of like wonkily. So. Can I have the screwdriver, please? I would love. Thank you. You're wonderful. I'm gonna go check on our daughter. Our daughter. Yeah. Colored demon. We got one in. Let's get this second one in over here. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time lining this up. I just cannot 
not seem to get it. Did I grab the wrong screw? Oh, I bet I did. They all look so similar. <laughs> I hear Noki telling our little one that tomorrow she can help build the computer. She absolutely loves building things. Okay. I can share one of my favorite, one of my first computers. I was in the exact position that Meg was in, and you see how clumsy I am? I dropped um, the screwdriver directly into my video card, break it wedged directly into the board, and when I went to grab it frantically, I broke a piece off the circuit board. Okay. I'm just going to brace this screwdriver here. <laughs> Okay. I'm so excited for this computer. There's so many cool things. Okay, we have RAM, video CPU. card, CPU, cooler. We need to install we have our one, two. Drums. We have a couple of fans. A couple of fans over here that are awaiting installation. And then to hook up the power supply now. We probably won't record the power supply hooking up because it's so boring and dumb and it requires so much concentration that we won't be able to talk. So we'll probably sign off here. Expect that um, our solid state will be wedged somewhere. We might even route fans up here and blow back into here. Another, like how this will work, why it's important for the fans. One thing we don't know is the direction of this fan. If it's an intake or an outtake fan, it depends on where we want the fans anyway. Because you want um, airflow to have a solid path, and especially with um, the power supply. I I only I can only believe this is a. I hope it's sucking in, and this is a blowing out. But um, with the video card having its own fans, if this is blowing out and this is blowing out, we're going to have to have some exhaust fans right here or maybe out the bottom or somewhere because we don't want to cause this massive turbulence right here because it will cause just dust to go everywhere. Okay, now just because I'm naive here, sure. will we be able to look at the documentation for these and it will tell us? Which direction the no, fans go? No, it won't. I, th I think there's some logic to it, but I just don't know what lo that logic is. Well, we have the fan in our bedroom going the wrong way for how and long? And actually, this fan is in upside down. The power supply? Yeah. The one part so I did by myself? <laughs> the reason I say that, why this exhaust pan shouldn't be there. It should be in this area here, and this area with no fan should be on top. So we're going to change around that power supply. <laughs> um, Add in our fans, hook everything up. Um, and then you can expect um, the starting of the beast. Yes. And from what everyone tells me, computers with solid state drives boot in like 10 seconds, so we're very excited. So, this has been an incredibly long video. <laughs> oh, wait, we got to show it. Go. Yes, thank you. Go. Oh, thank you so much for um, hanging out with us and if, if you've managed to make it this far and putting up with our craziness and um, everything while we try to figure all of this out. Yes, we're new. Technology is new. So, mind the vibrating that's about to happen. Oh, yeah. But... So we're okay, let's do some. Show our awesomeness here. So Slowly. there was our first camera mounting bracket, one of the boxes. Yes, you're seeing this right, folks. It is a cardboard box with a hole. And this is the second one. It is just a two by four we have wedged, and with hair ties, <laughs> used it to secure our uh, 
this motion capturing device, whatever it's Webcam. called. Webcam. Webcam. So, thanks, thanks again. again. From Loveberry, from Noki Bear, and Megalberry, you guys have a great night. Take care. Oh gosh, I can't find the button. <laughs>